coming up on Casey's Top 40, a Halloween look at a real monster of a hit from the past. The record that refused to die. Casey counts them down. Well, now we're up to our Halloween look at a real monster of a hit from the past. A hit that just wouldn't die. The monster hit we're talking about was created back in the early 60s by Bobby Pickett. Now, Bobby did a great imitation of Boris Karloff, the legendary actor who played Frankenstein. And one day, Bobby decided to make a record based on that impression. The record he put together was a monster parody. And as befits a monster, it seemed to scare every record executive who heard it. You see, Bobby's producer took his tape to four major labels, including London Records, but none of them would touch it. So the producer pressed some singles with money out of his own pocket, jumped in his car, and drove all over California, dropping the single off at radio stations along the way. By the time he got back home to Los Angeles, Bobby's song was on the radio, and London Records was on the phone apologizing and offering him a deal. With the company's backing, the record stalked its way to number one on Halloween Eve 1962, and then was buried in the Top 40 graveyard. But like Freddy Krueger, Dracula, and Frankenstein, it refused to stay dead, rising from the crypt in 1970 to chart again. Three years after that, it returned from the dead one more time, and the monster hit lurched all the way up into the top ten before it could be stopped. Even today, 20 years later, when the wind is still and the moon is full, if you listen very carefully, you're likely to hear this sound. It caught on in a flash. They did the match. They did the monster match. From 1962 and 1970 and 1973, that's the indestructible Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kickers. The monster hit that refused to die. Now, on with the countdown. Spotlight. In the AT-10 Spotlight, we've brewed up some haunting hits this Halloween weekend. We're up to our story of a monster hit. A song that no record company was interested in bringing to life. But once it came to life, it refused to die. It's a rock-era classic that was created back in the early 1960s. An actor named Bobby Pickett began to wonder what a dance song would sound like if it was performed by Boris Karloff. At first, he called it Monster Twist. Then he changed the name to Monster Mashed Potato. Then it became Mean Monster Mashed Potato. But in the end, he settled on the title Monster Mash. He recorded it in Los Angeles under the name Bobby Boris Pickett with some friends he called the Crypt Kickers. He took a copy from record company to record company and was turned down by every one of them. So Bobby paid to have a thousand copies pressed and drove around California giving it out to radio stations. By the time he was back in L.A., it was being played, and he got a call from one of the labels that had turned him down. They told him, quote, we made a mistake. That song went on to become a number one smash in 1962, and it didn't die after that. It came back to life on the charts in 1970 and 1973. Now, with an AT-10 Extra, here's Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kickers with the Monster Mash. Monster Mash. From 1962, that's Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kickers with an American Top Ten Extra, Monster Mash. And AT-10 rolls on. American Top Ten. American Top 40. You're with the shadow, and we're getting closer and closer to the biggest song of them all. The closer we got to Halloween, the more letters we got asking for this story. The BBC banned it in England. Elvis hated it, said it was the worst thing he ever heard. But it was our number one song 30 years ago. You could call it a Halloween national anthem. And we dug up the guy who did it for the whole story, Bobby Boris Pickett. I was singing with a group called The Cordials, and the bass baritone has a part in a song called uh, Little Darlin. The bass uh, part was always, my darlin I hold in in mine your little hand so I asked Lenny Capizzi the leader of the group if I could do it as Boris Karloff my darling I hold in mine your little hand I know too soon that all is grand and uh, the audience would crack up so Lenny suggested we do a, a novelty record which we did in a few hours on a Saturday afternoon in the early spring of 1962 you did the monster 
30 years ago this week, it was number one. And the Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kickers charted two more times in 1970 and 1973. It's the only novelty record to reach the top 10 twice. And it's the longest charting novelty record ever with 37 weeks. Oh yeah, and it was finally released over in England in 1973. I guess they were ready for it by then. And that closes the coffin on the Halloween classic of all time. And now, back to the countdown. Yeah.